Good afternoon, Mr. Sunflower Seed Eating Man. We are on our way to uh, a little town called Guadalest. It's roughly 20 kilometers from here, walking distance. And we're gonna walk along the river. It's like a mountain town. And it does look very beautiful. I've never been there, so it's gonna be nice. But it's also a long uh, walk. So we won't be there for a few hours. So, are you feeling fresh? Yeah, I'm good. I don't really, but who cares? We can take it in a slow pace. If the brain tells you to walk, your body will follow. Yeah. That's what I've learned since I was a little kid. Because always when we were younger, we learned that walking is good. We were always out, David and I. We were out in the woods all day from, from the morning till, till it got dark. The legs just keep on going, no matter how long the distance. From dusk to dawn, we were outside playing, having fun, exploring. So why don't you follow along on this little spontaneous day trip? My uh, body is keeping up. Doesn't feel too bad actually. It's a nice walk. It's good. Life is good. Life is actually really good. I'm happy. I'm healthy. Wonderful friends. I'm in Spain. I'm enjoying life. I'm creating. I do what I want to do. Lovely girlfriend. Yeah, together with my brother, doing things that we love to do. Be out exploring, doing the things we don't necessarily have to do. That's what we always have done and always will be doing. We do it because it's fun. It's fun to be out enjoying, exploring, creating, dreaming, visualizing. Yeah, life is good. Kilometers done, 17 to go, is good. Car! He just had to drive really fucking fast just to tell us that we shouldn't be. A lot of plantations, yeah. some figs, oranges, limes, what else is there? Avocado. Look at this. Good job, lot. This is scary. Who even does that? Look. Yeah. This is a really creepy place. It's like a really creepy Nullibion teddy bear. And another one there, and I just heard someone open the door. And the thing is, we're gonna walk back here. In the middle of the night, probably. That's gonna be creepy. Oh, we've all the guard dogs everywhere as well. Yeah, there might be some angry dogs. I think it's seven kilometers to go. Yeah, something like that. Feels good. Feet, calves, knees, they are all in place. All Over. intact. All the intact, where they should be. Mark is in need of a walking stick Hello. or something to defend himself against the creepy dogs. There's a lot of creepy dogs here. You, you're not sure if they are friendly or not? My, no, those are my walking sticks. Oh, nice. Yeah. They actually do look really good on you. Yeah, but there's a lot of guard dogs here. Yeah. Which is understandable if you have a house in a, guard, uh, in a farm that uh, isolated from everything, it's good too. I've got us, but this scared the shit out of us. Yeah. They come out of nowhere, just when they're next to you and they bark with a really low that, pitch. Yeah, voice, yeah. voice. Then you kind of poop your pants a little. Seven more kilometers to go. We'll just keep on walking. Keep going. Cold and fresh and nice, very nice indeed, man. Indeed, sir. Yep. I'm looking for some corn. You got some cornbread over here, boy. And I want corn dogs. And corn I want dogs. corn chips. And I want corn doodles. And hoodle a doodle a doodle. You got some corn. And we finally made it to the dam. So there's a big lake behind there. But yeah, we're gonna head up. Hopefully, 
I won't pass out. Oh, it's nice. 20 kilometers kind of done. <laughs> Took a while, but look at this view. It is pretty insane. But we made it after a few hours. Mm -hmm. Did take a few hours more than I thought, but we have arrived. So it feels good. The view is amazing. So we'll probably get home at night, walk in darkness. So we're gonna walk around a little, enjoy the town. Bring something, shoot a little, and then walk back. Long trip for a short visit. No product placement. No. Pr oh. Just a really good uh, energy drink. <laughs> anyway, it was a very long uh, walk for a very nice destination. It's starting to get dark now, so we uh, gonna start our descent down to the river. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. It will be dark the majority of the way back yeah but um we we'll get by yeah we bought the uh, energy ring energy drink water and some chips crisps S secret brand secret brand no branding at all no payments no nothing we made it down the biggest part of the serpentine road it was actually a lot longer than we expected yeah it's 20 mil around we're gonna we're gonna calculate the exact distance later. Yeah. 20 kilometers to this point. Then there's a lot of serpentine roads just to go. I would say this serpentine road up to Godlest is at least a few more kilometers. We bought some snacks. Yeah. We're feeling good. The darkness soon arrived, but the views. The guy in the shop he asked us what we wanted because he was about to close. We said, well, we want some snacks. Has some energy. Uh, so to walk back said, what do you mean walk back? Yeah, we just arrived here walking from Altea. I said, what, are you nuts? Okay, and you're gonna walk back now? And we said, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, next to the highway? No, by the river. And he said, what? Are you nuts? What? <laughs> and he thought we were crazy. Yeah. But he was a nice guy. He was very nice, very helpful, and he uh, got us the cheapest chips. They give us some energy. It's actually still pretty warm. Yeah, it's alright. So it's good. Uh, as long as we keep moving as well, we're yeah. fine. If there will be no moon tonight, we will definitely need these. Yeah, this is a bit cloudy. And hopefully they won't die. <laughs> yeah. See you in a little. Woo! Scared the shit out of me. Sorry for the bad quality, but I need more lighting. This fucker showed up. <laughs> I got so scared. That was a bit scary. Yeah. That was all of out come a big comes a big animal out of nowhere. It's just a goat. And we just spoke about uh, animals. If yeah, like, like wild a wild boar or something. Yeah. And then this one comes up. <laughs> it can still yeah attack us. Yeah. I don't know. Please don't. I don't want to break my leg. I don't know if you can see me at all, but yeah, we're done with 10 kilometers. We have. Uh, 10 more to go yeah. and uh, we're actually keeping up in a really good pace yeah, I, can, I think I can see it I think we we're keeping a higher pace now than we were on the way yeah we were stopping a lot yeah uh, 6.5 kilometers an hour oh, ah, ankle, ankle twists <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping a score of the ankle twists and Marcus is in the lead with five against two on me. Not too many scary dogs. Nah, not yet. The really scary part was the, the goat. <laughs> that was creepy. It's good we uh, we haven't had to use the cell phones uh, at all. Up till now. We yeah. uh, the moon light is quite uh, clear and uh, we're good. What did we say earlier? It's not the destination that is the goal. It's the, the journey. Yeah. We're having a such a cliche. Yeah, <laughs> but we're having uh, actually a really good time.
that's what we were talking about. Yeah, that's fucking scary. <laughs> when they, uh, when they're just next to us and they start barking. Think so. so that's what why we are not really using the flashlight yet. The dog's going. <laughs> Past, I don't know how many dogs. Hundred. Some were yeah. loose, but not hundred, but 50. a lot, a lot. Yeah. Uh, the farmers with the guard dogs. Some were loose, but they were kind of well trained. So you can start to really feel it in the legs now. Yeah. In the knees and calves and feet. I think we'll feel more of it tomorrow, though. So yeah, we got like four kilometers left, and then we'll check in. Once we're back in, yep, out there, and it seems that we are finally, after a few hours in darkness, back home in Altea. Still keeping the same pace we have for the entire. Running. <laughs> yeah, we even. Yeah, the only time we broke the pace was when we started to run for a few hundred meters. And damn, I can feel this in my legs now. It feels so good to be back. Holy shit. Yeah, pretty fantastic. It's good? Yeah. It's time to die for a while. Shoes are looking. Flawless. And I think we should end this video with the total distance we did today walking. You can see it right here. We can feel it in our legs, our body. Gonna feel it even more tomorrow. Probably. High five. See you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and everything. See you next time. Bye.